Hey Pisces, so we're going to do a take two on that because the one that I loaded didn't go, so yeah, <laughs> and we got some, uh, we got some of the same energies, but, uh, for the most part, it's, uh, we just going to get into it. I'm sorry. Um, this is TT, your favorite TT with Divine Me 1111 Tarot. Um, we're going to get into your spiritual guidance for August the 20th through the 26th, 2018, or whenever this resonates for you. If you need a personal consultation, my information is around there i think it's in the description box if not i'll put it in there i probably wasn't putting it in the first ones but i will i promise i'm new to this don't we're going to move forward anyway um cv thompson 79 at gmail um and divine me 1111 on instagram and facebook anyway let's um let's see what we have shall we um your spiritual guidance this week is is personal satisfaction you are in your in your element you are you you are in your feelings whatever that is you're in your feelings and you're you're happy about it um because you're doing you you're standing in your truth you're standing in your authority you're showing up um if there is a pisces out there who is expecting congratulations um just a side note victoria is a beautiful name i love it just saying um but there is um there is a level of having to move on and move forward in spite of heartache in spite of disappointment in spite of um having to walk away from some people that you thought had your back it's, it's, it's been with Mercury going direct, things are going to get more clear. So um, whatever has been hidden from you or whatever it is that you have not been seeing clearly, it's, it's going to get better. Um, things will be illuminated. Your... So just basic, basically expect to have to um, possibly walk away from some people, things, and places that are not for your highest good. And that does not mean that we don't love them or we don't appreciate them. That just means that we love and we appreciate ourselves more and we are uh, practicing self-love and balance. Okay? Okay. Because basically it's doing, it is doing what is right. It's doing the right thing. And being in your highest vibration in spite of if you're hurt. Just because you get hurt or someone hurts you does not mean you have to return that energy back to them. You are better than that. You're better than that. You don't have to give out the same energy that people give you. Unfortunately, some people are miserable and they want you to be miserable too. We don't do that kind. We don't do that kind. So, um, get happy. Damn it. Get happy. Boss up, get happy. Get out your head, quit twirling, and thinking that you're not on your path when you are. Ooh, my nephew's coming in. 
um, get get and get you some rest. <laughs> That's one thing. Get you some rest. Take a time out. Take a time out. Get yourself together. Do your thing. Hi, nephew. He said, he said, hi, TT. Um, get your, get your, get your life together. Get your life together. And just get some perspective. That's what we're getting here. We're getting perspective. We're putting things in its proper place. That's what we're doing. We're taking a leap of faith and trusting that God knows what he, she is doing. And um, we're going to move forward in our own knowing. Our own knowing and our, to our own destiny, to our own highest level of, ooh, love. Okay. Yes, the elephant. Yes. He's playing with my crystals, y'all. It's okay. Stop deceiving yourself on what love is. And what communication is and what decision making is. Yes, I see it, baby. Whatever needs to break down, let it break down. Yes, that one too. Whatever needs to break down, let it break down. Okay. And make your decision from a place of love. Make your decision from a place of love so that you can go forward and and be in your highest integrity. Because when I say this week is about getting what you want and not letting people deter you that's exactly what this is that's what that's exactly what we're here to do we're here to achieve what we're supposed to achieve that is our mission is to do what we are sent here to do in spite of what's going on around us thank you thank you in spite of what's going on around us, we still have to ma maintain our focus. And I had that issue this morning. And it's so funny because right now, my nephew is in here twirling with my cards. However, he's not distracting me as much as the telephone conversation that I was listening to this morning. It's all about perspective. I had in my mind that my nephew's going to be coming in here and he's going to be twirling with me while I'm doing this. I have to still maintain my focus. This morning, I was not able to do that. So, it's about it was about me. This is my lesson for today. Me getting perspective and my mindset and my energy. This morning, my mindset wasn't, oh, Lord, I'm going to have this. This is going to be happening as I'm um, supposed to be doing my readings. So I didn't have that mindset, so I, I didn't expect it. So it threw my energy off. But this afternoon, I expect it. When my nephew comes in here, I'm going to be doing this, and he's going to be twirling with me. So my energy towards that thing was different. We have to learn to mind our energy. A fish. Yes, the fish. Oh. And as I'm saying the fish, he's pointing out he's pointing out the two of, of uh, water, the two of cups. So there is love here. There is a lot of love here. But the thing is is just put that on pause. Yes, baby, I see that. Put that on pause. Allow a change to happen in that when it comes to love because something you, you've been focused on the wrong, the wrong part of it. So, um, hold on, baby. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. TT's almost done. Um, 
this definitely is more cut and dry than the first reading that we had because that first one was really twirltastic and this one really is just like do what you have to do to be balanced and right now in spite of what you're feeling in spite of your your hurt in spite of that change your focus and go in a space of i have to do whatever i have to do for me to have peace in my heart and in my in my space so whatever that is a lot of the times for me that's getting with my nieces and nephews that gives me peace that keeps me grounded we go outside we blow bubbles we twirl and then i'm good that is something that helps me to to ground and, and keep perspective so whatever it is you have to do even if it's you know walking outside if it's uh going to the gym taking a walk whatever it is that you have to do to get centered and get in your space and place of nobody is going to fuck with my chi that's what you have to do and it's okay my bad he okay he don't know what that is anyway. it's all right um but stay in a place of inner peace because that's the thing that people want to mess with the most is your inner peace they can if they can't have peace of their own, they want they want to disturb yours. No, that's not how I work. I'm a if I'm in a funk, I'm gonna stay into my own lane kind of person. I do my stuff on my own. I'm not giving nobody else my energy. That's just stupid. If I'm gonna spread something, I'm gonna spread love, peace, and happiness. Not no BS, cause that's just. Oh. There's there's enough going on in this world than for me to put negative energy out there on top of what somebody else has going on. That's not fair. That's not right. So cut the BS. Get it together. Um, that's how I feel about it. If um, you want to get a personal consultation with me, get at me through my VS via uh levels of social media instagram and facebook are both uh divine me 1111 and uh, my email address is cv thompson 79 at gmail if you have any questions um and we're gonna close this out for the week i will talk to you guys later Blessings and light. Say bye-bye.